When you are pulling a double shot of espresso, you want the double shot to run in 17 to 22 seconds, beginning at the moment when you press the button and ending when the machine stops pouring the shot, or when you have about two and one half ounces of liquid in your shot glasses. A triple shot should run in 25 to 30 seconds for about three and one half ounces of liquid. There are three factors that control the speed of your shots, the consistency of the grind, the fill of the portafilter, and the pressure of the tamp. Each of these factors can be compared to rocks and sand. First, the consistency of your grind. If you pour a pitcher of water over a handful of rocks, it will move much quicker than it would if you poured it over a handful of sand. This is because a handful of rocks is less dense than a handful of sand. Similarly, the coarser your coffee grounds are, the faster the water is going to run through the coffee. You control this by turning your grind adjustment knob to make the grind finer or coarser. When you adjust your grind, make sure to make small adjustments. Only move the wheel one notch at a time. If you overcorrect, you will slow the process of getting a good shot. Second, the fill of the portafilter. To fill correctly, fill your portafilter until it overflows slightly with coffee grounds. Then use the lid of the dosing chamber to scrape the excess grounds back into the dosing chamber. This also saves coffee. Third, the pressure of the tamp. To tamp correctly, place your portafilter on the counter, press down on the coffee, making sure it is level. Make sure to press hard and put your weight into it. You should be using about 40 pounds of pressure. The harder you tamp the coffee, the slower your shots will run. Make sure that the coffee in the portafilter reaches the thin fill line that you can see around the inside of the filter basket. Try to keep the way you fill the portafilter and tamp the same every time. So if your shots are running too fast or too slow, you can simply make small adjustments to the grind. Now let's talk about what happens when things go wrong. Here is an example of a shot that pulls too slow. If you are filling your portafilter correctly and tamping like you saw, and your shots run too slow, it means your coffee grounds are too fine. Notice how the shots take a long time to begin pouring and when they do pour, they drip slowly and are dark in color. The longer your shots spend in the group head, the hotter they get. These shots are burnt. If your shots are running too slow, like this one, use the grind adjustment knob on your grinder to adjust your grind, making the coffee grounds slightly coarser. This will make your coffee more like rocks, and it will be easier for the water to move through it. This shot ran in 35 seconds. If you were to taste it, it would taste very gritty and burnt. Some people say that these shots taste like dirt. Here is an example of a shot that runs too fast. When your coffee grounds are too coarse, water will move through them very quickly. This shot runs in about six seconds. When a shot runs too fast, it tastes sour. You will be able to taste bitterness along the perimeter of your tongue. If your shots are running too fast, adjust your grind, making it slightly finer. It is very important to adjust your grind instead of your fill or your tamp. Make sure to keep your fill and tamp correct and consistent. There are several factors outside of your control that can affect the consistency of your grind. These are temperature, humidity, and grinder temperature. When the weather changes or when your grinder becomes hot from running for a long time, your coffee grounds will change. This means that you'll have to plan on changing your grind throughout the day to compensate for these changes. A third type of bad shot is called an oxidized shot. When coffee comes in contact with oxygen, it begins to stale, just like a bag of chips or can of soda once it is opened. However, espresso goes stale a lot faster than a bag of chips. These shots look very good. The shot is thick and looks like it is dancing. Notice the rich golden foam on top. This is called crema, and it is where all the heart and flavor of your coffee resides. If your shots do not have crema, do not serve them. But watch what happens as the shot is exposed to air. The crema disappears, and the dark, bitter part of the coffee grows. This is a visual indication of the staling process that occurs as the shot goes bad. In order to keep the espresso fresh, it is very important to place espresso shots in a liquid within 10 seconds of pulling them. A liquid is water, milk, or syrup, not a sauce or a powder. Now it is time for you to practice. The next three slides have instructions. 
Listen to the instructions, then pause the DVD on each slide and follow the instructions. If you need to, skip backwards to review any parts you have forgotten. After you are finished, we will teach you how to steam milk. First, you are going to pull a shot that runs too fast. Turn your grind adjustment knob a couple of notches in the coarse or grossa direction. Study the grind carefully so that you know what a coarse grind looks like. Remember to tamp and pull shots. Put them in a little milk immediately and try them. Notice the sour taste on the sides of your tongue. Do the same thing again, only turn your grind adjustment knob in the opposite direction a few notches. These shots will run too slow and taste gritty or burnt. Now, adjust the grind until you get a shot that runs in 17 to 22 seconds. Pour one of your shots in milk and let the other sit for a minute before pouring it in milk. Taste them both.